हेलो व्यूअर्स मेनी स्टूडेंट्स फील द कोर्स बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट ऑफ एस वन आई एम दर गोइंग टू मेंटेन अ बैक क्लॉक अपॉन द फीडबैक टेकन फ्रॉम द सीनियर्स बट हियर दिस इज योर चैन दो आई एम गोइंग टू वर्क आउट फॉर यू ऑल द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू हाईलाइट फ्यू स्टार मार्क क्वेश्चन विच आर सेट टू बी अगेन शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन अंडर जे एन टू हेच आर ट्वेंटी टू रेगुलेशन द कोर्स बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग आई हैव कम अप विद फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यूनिट वाइज प्लीज डू कॉन्सेंट्रेट अकॉर्डिंगली and do not skip this video i am going to work out few more units all few more subjects also in the coming days to go if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it immediately by pressing a bell icon you are going to receive a latest notification on the videos which i am going to post i have uploaded various subject courses in this channel please go through the playlist the first and foremost short question i can give you is the classification of sources and the principle of superposition may be also short question and determine the vi i mean the velocity Uh, voltage and the current for a given circuit diagram dependent sources and define unilateral and bilateral elements and their differences these all are may be the part of the 1a as well as 1b dear students as you know that the part a consists of short questions from a to j and the long questions are from 2 to 6 i am going to highlight few long questions for the course b b w e i mean the 2 a b now 2 a b may be the thevenin's or the nortons or the superposition theorems along with the problems you will be getting any two theorems here in a and b or c and d the c and d may be kbl and kcl or the time domain analysis of first order rc and rc rl as well as rc circuit dear students that may be the part of this may be the c and this may be the d that may jumble sometimes i cannot give you an assurance that the thevenin may come in a or kbl may come even in b sometimes please you are supposed to work out as per the pattern of r22 you need to be thorough with the complete unit then only you are going to score out of out mark failing which you are supposed to maintain a backlog of subject please do listen each and every point where i am highlighting next i am going to cover for you the question cd i am in the part of one the peak and rms values the real power and the reactive power their definitions and the apparent power and the power factor is said to be one of the top most question and the phase representation and three phase balance circuit later i am going to work out for you all the three equation 3a b as well as cd single phase ac circuit connecting r l c r l r c combinations along with the series as well as parallel and the problems related to it may be the top most and one shot question dear students all the time that won't be ab combination sometimes just that is 3a only which is of 10 mark if the question is too lengthy in structure you are going to get only one question or else you may be getting two questions in form of five mark and five mark combination i hope you have gone through my channel related to the question paper pattern for r22 which is there in this channel if you haven't watched please do it immediately star and delta connections the voltage as well as current combinations need to be worked out is said to be one of the top most question resonance in series r l c and the problems related to it and resonance and frequency formally and the problems related to it may be also short question as well as a long question coming to the part of the unit 2 i am going to let you know the end of the video which unit you are supposed to prepare in order to score out of out mark for an average student and the good student and the excellent students please do watch till this video and do not skip it later the unit 3 is very short in its structure you are supposed to work out the construction and working principle of single phase auto or three phase transformer connections and from this part you'll be getting the short questions there are no separate short questions given from the unit 3 dear students you are supposed to learn in depth all the concepts that is a one mark question which may be you getting as well as directly 10 mark you may be getting from the transformer connections along with the problems is said to be one of the short and long question coming to the fourth question ideal versus practical transformers like define the ideal transformer maybe the short question or the practical transformer or if it is a long question they may be asking you the differences among them if a part of the differences is given in the exam you are supposed to make a tabular column and you need to write ideal transformer as well as practical transformer and you are supposed to write in step by step the differences if it is of a difference and their equivalent circuits may be also asked some 
sometimes later the regulation and efficiency may be also the short question and the losses and transformer may be the long question coming to the part of 4a b and c d may be covered from this dear students you are supposed to write if it is a theory question do write only in uh, sentences i mean the bulletin points i mean the point wise do not write in paragraph do carry your a uh, calculator as well as pencil that is a part of the problematic and circuit diagrams need to be drawn very neatly only in pencil dear students later have come up with the question number 5 the long question coming to the unit 4 the construction working principle of three phase induction motor is said to be the top most and gone short question which may be occurring in 5a or just that may be for 10 mark along with its stock and slip characteristics and the dc machine its performance characteristic of dc shunt motor may be the 5b question and the problems related to is said to be top most question later you may be getting cd the sink Synchronous generator, the construction and the working principle, along with a neat sketch, is said to be the topmost and pakka damn sure question this time in the question paper. Three-phase versus single-phase induction motor. Already you are going to work out the three-phase induction motor. Sometimes they may be asking you to work out the differences. You are supposed to work out like this the differences. And sometimes only single-phase induction motor, the construction and working principle, rotating magnetic field and the generation. The short question may be from this. And if you are perfect with this. this all concept you could able to work out even the short questions dear students and work out very neatly all the diagrams only in pencil and label them later the last unit i would like to let you know it's all about the short and you can go with this unit first if you are an average student components of lt switch gear related to sfu mcb elcb and mccb may be the short as well as the long question earthing define the term earthing and the construction and working principle of plate earthing and the batteries the types and characteristics may be also the short and long question which is a part of 6a b as well as cd combination i am going to highlight now do i what about the describe the battery backup and the type of wires and cables may be the short question and the elementary calculation for energy consumption may be the long question and the power factor improvement these all are said to be the long as well as short questions for the course basic electrical engineering for all branches of engineering dear students if you are an average student you are supposed to concentrate on unit 3 first later 5 and later 4 you are supposed to work out the third unit and the fifth unit and the fourth unit to just pass this course if you want to score a better mark you need to work out even unit 1 also dear students and if a student is looking for out of out he or she need to concentrate on all units thoroughly so that he or she may be working out for a 60 mark paper which is of 3 hours you need to calculate you need to draw the diagrams as well as you need to write all the theory answers only in point wise and do not write in paragraph a video is uploaded in my channel on how to write a theory paper please go through it and watch it immediately so that you could be able to score good mark if you are looking for any other videos do not forget to comment as well as if you haven't subscribed do it immediately and share this content with your friends which may help them i am going to work out few more important concepts and the questions related to jntuh r22 as well as r18 regular and supplementary questions and the concepts in the coming days good luck dear students thank you